All right, Ed. Good morning, Dan. Today is Japan Day. It's the day of traveling to Japan, to the land of the, the rising sun. I'm in a bit of a luggage crisis at the minute. I bought this big Sparco bag, thinking I'd be able to fit all my needs in it. And I had a little, another little small suitcase. This is now a bigger suitcase, which I had to borrow, but here we are, I've got a new backpack and stuff. I thought I'd get everything in there, but no. I've got to take enough clothes for, you know, a week or so. And then I've got to get all my camera stuff and all my racing stuff because this trip is all about the drivings. So I'm just about to stump up an extra 100 and, was it? 100, about 160 quid, I think it is. Maybe, maybe 100, over 150 pounds to carry some extra kilograms. So that I can, you know, bring this, this concept. But we're saying goodbye to the barn anyway. I'm already running late, so I can't piss about here too much. The tash is coming on. Might grow out in Japan, you never know. Might look good. If I keep holding the phone. Oh, the tash, it needs to it's, it's stop looking so much like a barcode, so. I, I feel like I need to show off the new, the new travel clobber. Oh. Ah, well, check out, check out this new outfit, all new clobber for the trip. New new balances, new trousers. Do the kick again. This is the second time recording this because one of us forgot to press record. But uh, yeah, I'm going to Osaka, meeting some internet friends. See how it goes. I've never been far away on my own before, other than tracks. But even then, there's people I know waiting for me. So yeah, this is a an enlightenment trip, a quest for fulfilment and contentment and enlightenment. <laughs> so we're just saying goodbye to the barn. I was meant to come up here the other day and tidy it up. What did I spend all day doing? Fixing the airline over there. I hope you enjoy it. My parting present. I hope it stays working your absence. I spent far, we'll not talk about it. I just had time. <laughs> yeah, right, let's go. Manchester Airport. I'm gonna do some little vlogs along the way. And the content for the next couple of months, at least, is going to be driving and vlogging, genuine vloggings. Sorry. We're going to be doing the, the explorations in Japan. We're going to be buying a car at auction, hopefully. We're going to be doing some drifting and we're going to be doing some of the racing, which starts this weekend. It's race week. In five days, I'll be racing. So what's the time difference? You... Nine hours in front. OK. Yeah, nine hours. And there is a live stream as well, which I'll uh, post on the Patreon, but obviously this is a few weeks ago. Like and subscribe. Right, we need to get to that airport, sir. We do. Yeah, so let's go. I have to conquer my first fear. The biggest fear. <laughs> Being a passenger. Oh. You have to get used to this when you're Oh, no. I got to be a passenger. <laughs> yeah. You'll be all right. Public service announcement. I've just had a, I'm fuming. I'm, I'm, first of all, I feel quite sick, which is, we're only just on the M62. So we've only been about half an hour. I feel pretty terrible. I'm gonna ask him if I can drive the rest of the way. We'll, we'll see, but sickness, travel sick. The main problem, right? I'm, I'm really upset about this. And I don't think there's anything, it's one of those, it's one of those times where you, you, you need to tell yourself to not get mad about something, but at the same time, it's so annoying, right? So extra baggage, with all my camera gear and everything, you get 35 kilos, I thought that'd be plenty, but with all my cameras and helmets and race suit and all that stuff, right? And even with minimal clothes really like i've not brought a lot of clothes by any means right i needed basically i needed to buy i think i was 46 kilos right so i was just over 45 so i was going to try and make it oh do i need to just buy 10 kilos extra which is 110 pounds right for 10 kilos extra or do i need to 50 you can only do it in five kilogram increments so i'd have to do 170 pounds i think it was or something like that right I thought 
bollocks i'll just do the 15 kilos right whatever i'll just pay it you know it's a lot of money whatever just pay it right it's already over a thousand pounds for the ticket to fly there right just gone to do it now driving on just gone to do it right and because i'm within it's first of all it says on the website that you can do this up to three hours before flying i'm not flying for another five hours so i thought sound i'll just do it and it's gonna let me do it but the price is now 585 pounds so it's gone up by 415 pounds from this morning to now i just phoned up the customer service excuse me that is ridiculous it's meant to be oh yeah you can still make changes it's just that but just give me some spiel about Qatar. I mean, I know frequent flyers, you'll be like, haha, you fool, of course you need to sort that out before you go. But now, this, I'm trying to not get mad about it. And I, I can't really lose anything. You know, I thought, well, maybe I'd take some clothes out and buy some clothes there, but it's going to be 39, it's 39 pounds per kilo, right? If I take out a kilogram of clothes, it would be more than. 39 pounds worth won't it so probably i don't know but you know i can't just like to, i've packed like all my gopros and all that. if i take out say my old gopros and don't take them i might save a kilogram but it's going to cost me more than 39 pounds to replace them so i'm just gonna have to pay it but it's 585 pounds now and it was 170 pounds this morning and things like getting you just can't help but think where that money could have gone when i get there it's going to cost me about 100 pounds for a taxi or about five pounds on the train i thought i'd treat myself to the taxi because i've got all these bags and everything i don't want to be mucking about on a train at rush hour with all these bags oh so i'm just getting the idea now Ben, if i drive the final leg you can't have like a fucking lunatic, you know. I don't. Please, it'd help me. I think he said yes. 500. And I'm just telling them what's happened. It's not ideal. It's That's not ideal. Everything but ideal. <sighs> oh, automatic steering wheel. Yes. But what can I do? What can you do? Lesson learned. Yeah, well, yeah, notice to you, people, if you're thinking of traveling, sort that out ahead of time. I thought I had plenty of time, but I didn't. What you got there? Just a breakfast sandwich. All right. Anyway, to the airport then, I guess. To the airport. How are you feeling, Dan? <laughs> 400 pounds. <laughs> are you excited for the journey ahead? You know, bags open.
waiting for a taxi. Didn't do any videoing on the way. My eyes are quite tired, yeah. Thanks for asking. Tried to sleep on the uh, Doha to Osaka. I kept nodding off and then waking up and then awful. I'm hoping that'll help with the jet lag, but I've already seen some cool cars. I missed the taxis because I was dicking about. I'm waiting for a taxi now. Some cool taxis. Some cool everything. Everything's just, you know, cool. The taxi is the most expensive way of getting from the Kansai airport to where I'm going. I'm not quite going to Osaka, so it won't be silly, silly, but it'll still be about 50 quid probably at least. Or I could have got a train for like two pounds 50, but I didn't fancy it. It was, uh, you know, with the big bags and, you know, it's rush hour while it's just coming off. It's just, uh, it's just after six o'clock at night. So, oh, here comes a taxi now, but I am third in the queue. Hopefully one of the cool taxis comes back. I think the taxis were crowns. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I think I'm in a crown. <laughs> I think. It's an old Toyota, that's for sure. crown in the end that's good right now to find the digs well I found my Airbnb <laughs> it's a uh, yeah but I can't get into the key box <laughs> classic hmm classic right, I've gained entry so give you a quick tour of the gaff shall I I've not had a, not had a look yet but Let's have a quick tour and hopefully I'm going to be able to sleep a little bit, maybe. Or maybe I'll try and stay up late and body clock. So this place was 50 quid a night on the Airbnb, right? On the Airbnb. It's not massive, but got a bathroom, yeah, a little shower, not bad. Well, we got a singing toilet, kitchen, rice cooker, hob, kettle. Brought some coffee with me as well. There's the cups. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, some cooking apparatus. Mug glasses. There we go, look. Mild peanut butter. All right, yeah. Uh. Rice cooker, I don't know if I'll be using that. The shitter is in here. And yes, it's got a control panel. Oh yes. Okay. We'll come back to that. <laughs> I'll let you know, right? Oh, a little sink there as well, that's cool, isn't it? And then the living slash bedroom. Oh, look at the bezel on that. Nice little corner telly. Man, that's uh, that's getting on a bit, hasn't it? I brought an HDMI cable with me. Hope it's got some. Uh, ooh, it's got a lot of analog inputs on the back of there. Is that, I don't. Has it got HDMI? I don't. I don't think it's got HDMI. You know, too old. All the analogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's an HDMI there, is it? Maybe. Yeah. Classic. TV is bolted. <laughs> the TV is bolted to the TV stand. That's good, isn't it? I just knocked that over. Good chill out, mate. Well, there we go. That's my Japan vlog. So it's cost me £1,200 to get here. Um, 50 quid in the taxi, it was 
If it's 12,000 yen, it's more like 60 quid. But, yeah, needed door-to-door -door service. They've left me some gifts. Apparently, gifts are big in Japan. I've brought a few gifts with me to give out tomorrow. We're going to go to Zero Fire tomorrow and go and see the first race car. In fact, the first and second two different racing cars. I've got quite a lot of stuff planned already. Two races, a track day. Well, that's about it, really. And hopefully buying a car from auction. So, yeah. We'll go exploring tomorrow. For now, I'm going to chill out a bit. So, this is a welcome to Japan vlog. We'll see more about it tomorrow in the daylight. We're going to go off with travels. We're going to meet our first chaperone, Mr. Jesse-san. Yeah. I'm sure we'll have a good time. And yeah, go and see the first race car, which is a Civic EK9. <clears throat> I'll see you then. There's no flush. Oh, yeah, there is. All right, never mind. Oh, that's got one as well. Arigato. Can I get some spray, please? I'd be very disappointed if this don't work in the morning, let me tell you. Minor clearance problem. You don't want that tall in your videos. <laughs> <laughs>